Crypto Slow, Cryptocurrency News and Investing. Crypto Slow with more crypto gains. Tonight's topic is updating your Raven QT wallet to the Testnet wallet. So the new wallet will actually serve dual purpose. It can be run in testnet mode and it can also be run in normal mode. Um, for this exercise, basically all you're doing is downloading the source files and replacing just the qt.exe. That's it. So the first thing you need to do is to go to GitHub and download the new package. So I went ahead and I'm just going to download the Raven Win64 zip and I'll have a link down below to this and we'll save that. Okay. Um, and to my knowledge I haven't had any problems with Windows Defender. I'm going to go ahead and extract the zip file. Okay. And you're going to see several other files in there, but all we're concerned with is getting the raven.qt. So we're going to go into the raven, you're going to go into the bin folder, and you're going to take that raven.qt executable, it says application, and we're going to go ahead and copy that to our desktop. Okay. So now what you need to do is find where your current wallet is. As always, make sure you back up your wallet or export your private keys, whatever you're most comfortable with. Now, keep in mind, we're not replacing the blockchain and we're not, this will work with your coins that you have in your current wallet. But like I said, back up your wallet and make sure that you know you're not going to lose anything. So wherever your executable QT is, go ahead and right click it and go to that file location. Now, what I did was I went ahead and created a folder and moved the original QT. This is my old one, see the date stamp 3718. And the new one is 816. So I saved a copy of it just in case. Now, with that being said, if you're super paranoid like me, you can go ahead and go to your app data folder, percent app data, okay? Find the Raven folder. And notice I created a folder that's date stamped, and inside that folder, I put a copy of all my files in the blockchain. This just makes it easier in case something gets corrupted or whatever. So I backed up the original QT and I backed up all the files in the app roaming data folder. So I feel pretty comfortable with that. So that's not too big of a deal. That's where your blockchain resides and all the good stuff. So now you're going to take that old QT, stash it in a place, and then you're going to go ahead and move the new QT in the position. Okay. All right. Now, here's the important part. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and delete. We're going to right click and we're going to send to desktop. Okay. So this will, st okay. So basically, I made a shortcut to the application file. We're just going to say um, Raven QT. So I know if I launch that, that will launch the wallet in normal mode where you'll have access to your coins that are on the main blockchain that are live, that are real, um, as, you know, real money. So now there's a special command you need to get the wallet to start in test mode. So what you do is you right click on your desktop, you create a text file, and we're going to call it Raven. QT test mode. Test net actually is more specific. Okay, then I'm going to open that. Okay, and then I've got the command already, and I'll make a copy of this for you. Raven QT exe, and then you have the minus test net switch. So we're going to go ahead and save that as got to convert it to a bat file 
dot bat. Okay. And you see the gears showing it's a bat file. Okay. Now here's the uh, important part. We're going to move that bat file into the directory where the Qt is. Okay. And then I'm going to right click send to desktop and make a shortcut. So I got Raven QT and I got Raven QT test net. So if you want to experiment with building assets, you're going to have to have the Raven wallet started in the test net mode. So let's go ahead and fire that up and see what it does. Okay, so this points to the bat file which activates the wallet and as you can see Raven Core wallet test net so and if you know you did things right you'll have you know you have your assets transactions and create assets manage and that's it that's all there is to it so if I clicked on it here it's gonna start my wallet in normal mode and I will actually be able to um, control my coins that are live on the blockchain, the real ones. So the, uh, once again, the important part here is the new wallet runs in two different modes. It runs in testnet mode and it runs in normal mode. And to update your wallet, you're replacing the QT EXE only. You're not replacing the blockchain files or anything else. So I'm going to have some more videos on this new asset um, creation on the testnet coming soon. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.